subscapers and welcome to one small favor quest guide. The quest requirements are rune mysteries, Shiloh village and druidic ritual. The skill requirements are 18 herb lore, 25 crafting, 30 smithing, 36 agility and for iron men you need 20 herb lore and 20 mining. The item requirements are weapon and armor, equip them and remember runes or ammo if you are using magic or ranged. Bring 4 steel bars, 1 bronze bar, 1 iron bar, 1 empty pot, 1 clean marantil, 1 clean harrowlander, 1 vial of water, 2 cut jades, 2 opals, 2 red topazes. They are recommended, around 3000 coins, food if your combat level is low, and 4 free inventory slots. The recommended unlocks are low stones to all over the place, have some quick teleport charges from using Viswax to speed things up. Lastly, the enemies are between level 35 to 63. Let's go! To start off, use the Lost on the Karam Jab. Run north. We are heading to Silo Village, so we will be using the shortcut. Go northeast towards the transportation icon. Right click the cart and select Payfair. Go north to the quest art icon. Talk to Yanni Salaika. Option 2, is there anything else interesting to do around here? Option 5, okay, see you in a tick. Accept the quest. Option 1, I'll get going then. Go southeast and exit the Shiloh village. After the gates and the broken cart, go southwest and follow the little path. Talk to the jungle forester. Option 4, I need to talk to you about red mahogany. Option 1, okay, I'll take your hatchet to get it sharpened. Continue to west and go all the way to the shore. Go to the transportation icon, climb up the ladder. Talk to the captain. Option 1, actually I have a favor to ask. Use the lodestone to port serum. Go north to the axe shop. Talk to Brian. Option 3, do you sharpen hatchets? Option 2, Luke, can you sharpen this cursed hatchet or what? Option 4, okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll go and see Aggie. Use the lost on the trainer village. We are heading to Aggie. Go southwest to Aggie's house. Talk to Aggie. Option 1, talk about one small favor. Option 3, let me guess you're going to ask me to do you a favor. Option 2, oh, okay, I'll see if I can find Jimmy. 
you still host on the Lamrich. We are heading to the Ham hideout. Go north and slightly east from the lodestone. Enter the old mine entrance. Climb down. Go to the southern room. Talk to Johannes. Option 4. I'm looking for Jimmy the Chisel. Option 3. And I suppose you need me to do you a favor. Option 2. Okay, Jimmy. Has to be worth more than a few scrawny chickens. Use the lost on the Lumbridge. We are heading to Fred the Farmer next. Go north and slightly west. Go to the building next to the sheep pen. Talk to Freddy. Option 2 or 3, I need to talk to you about Jimmy. Go east to the next farm. Go to the house. Talk to Seth. Option 2. Oh, okay. I guess it's not that much further to Farrock. Use the lost on the work. We will be heading to the plate body shop next. Keep going north and northeast of the fountain. You will see the plate body shop. Go over there. Talk to Horvick. Option 2. Talk about one small favor. Option 3. Hi, I need to talk to you about chicken cages. Option 2. Okay, I guess one good turn deserves another. Go southwest to the potion guy. Talk to Apothecary. Option 1 or 2. Talk about one small favor. Option 5. Orbic is ill. I need breathing salts and herbal tincture. Option 2. Oh, okay. I guess it's not that far to the barbarian village. Use the lodestone to Felidor. Go northeast, keep following the path to east. We are heading to Barbarian Village. Go to the southeastern building. Talk to Tassie. Option 1. OK, I'll deal with Hammer Spike.
go west and we will be entering the Dwarven Mines next. Go north and climb down the trapdoor. Go south and take the path to your west. Go to the end of the path. Talk to Hammer Spike. Option 4. Have you always been a gangster? Option 2. Okay, another favor. I think I can manage that. Here's the lost on the Taverly. We are heading to Sunview. Go east from the lodestone. Talk to Sunview. Option 2 or 3. Are you taking any new initiates? Option 2. Do you accept dwarves? Option 3. A dwarf I know wants to become an initiate. Option 1. Yep, it's a deal. From your inventory, add the Harrowlander to the Vial of Water, and then add the Marantil to the potion. You should get the Gothic's Rest. Use the Lost on the Taverly or Bertorp and head to the White Wolf Mountain. If you use the Taverly Lostone, go northwest and follow the path. Go to the cave to your west. Go southeast to the travel icon. Talk to the gnome. Right click to talk to him. Option 2. I have a special potion for you from Sanfew. Option 4. Okay, I'll go and get you some trash. Use the lost on the Caterpie. Go south and talk to the general shop owner, Arhain. Option 5. I need to talk trash to you. Option 1. Yes, okay, I'll do it. Use the lost on the Sears village. Go to the southeastern building. Talk to Panthuti. Option 4. Hi, can you give me the weather forecast? Option 5. What can I do to help? Option 1. Yes, okay, I'll do it. Use the lost on to Arduin. We are heading to the Goblin Cave.
go north and enter the cave. Go north and go to the eastern section of the cave. You should get a little cutscene. Right click on the sculpture on the wall to your east and select search. Use the lowstone to Arduin. Go southeast. We are heading to the wizard. Keep going east to the travel icon and talk to the wizard. Option 4. I need to talk to you about a girl stuck in some rock. Option 2. Oh, okay. One more small favor isn't going to kill me, I hope. Use the lost on the Arduin. Go southwest. We are getting five pigeon cages next. Go to the backyard south of the bank. Pick up five pigeon cages. Use the lowstone to gather by. We are heading to the port casar next by using the ships. Go southwest to the travel icon. Click one of the NPCs, select Port Cassard. To your northeast, talk to Tyndall Merchant. Option 2, ask about Iron Oxide. Option 1, OK, I'll do it. Use the lowstone to Yanil. We are heading to the Feldip Hills next. Go southeast from the lodestone. Follow the little path to your south. And then go east. We are talking to rents next. Option one, I need to talk to you about the mattress. Option four. OK, I'll see what I can do. Go west until you see the gnome glider. Right click Gnormadium to talk to him. Option 4, Rand said I should come and help you finish this project. Option 1, yes, I'll take a look at them. Search all of these landing lights for a gem, cut them and put them back to the landing lights. If you cross them accidentally, that's why we brought some extra gems with us. You can also get some replacement gems by talking to the gnome 
and selecting option 4, I need a new gem to fix the lights. And option 1, ok, here's 500 gold, I'll buy one. I'll get back to you when we are done with fixing the lights. After you are done, right click the gnome and talk to him. Option 4, I've fixed all the lights. Go east, back to Rants. Talk to Rance. Option 1. Ok, I've helped that gnome. He shouldn't bother you anymore. Use the lowstone to gather bee. We are heading back to Port Gazard. Go southwest to the docks. Click on one of the commanders, select Port Gazard. To your northeast, talk to Tyndall Merchant. Option 2, I have the mattress. Use the lost on the Ardoin, we are heading to the wizard. Go southeast. Go east to the travel icon and talk to the wizard. Option 4 I have that iron oxide you asked for. You should get the animate rock scroll. If you didn't get it, it's in your bank. You still lost on to Ardoin. We are heading to the Goblin Cave. Go north. Enter the cave. Go north and to the northeastern section of this cave. Go next to the rocks to your east and from your inventory use the animate rock scroll. Defeat the enemy. Use the animate rock scroll again. Use the lost on to Sears village. Go southeast to the nearest building and talk to Pantuvti. 
Option 4, I've released Petra, she should have returned. Option 4, I'll run you through if you don't give me that weather report. Option 2, why can't you get a clear picture? Option 2, which special Sears tools do you mean? Option 1, what do you mean? Special combination of items? Climb up the ladder. Go east, through the doors, and climb up the ladder. Go west, and to your north, right click the weather vane to search it. Option 1, yes. Right click and search again, and you should get some broken parts. Go east and climb down the ladder. Climb down the ladder. Go north to the smithing anvil. And from your inventory, use the weather vane parts one by one to the anvil. Head south and slightly west, back to the building. Climb up the ladder. Go east and climb up the ladder to the roof. Go west and to your north, use all of the weather vane items from your inventory to the weather vane to fix it. Go east and climb down the ladder. Go west and climb down the ladder. Talk to Pantufti. Option 4, I fixed the weather vane. Use the lowstone to gather by. Go south and talk to the general shop owner, Arhain. Option 5, I have the weather report for you. Use the lowstone to Taverly or Birthrope. We are heading to the White Folk Mountain next. If you use the Taverly lowstone, go northwest. Follow the path and go to the cave entrance to your west. Go southeast to the travel icon and right click to talk to the gnome. Option 2, hey there, did you get your trash? You still lost on the Taverly, we are heading to Sunview. Go east to Sunview's house. Talk to Sanfew, option 2 or 3. Hi there, the gnome pilot has agreed to take you to see the ogres. Use the lost on the Falador. We are heading to the Dwarven mines next. Go northeast and follow the path. Go north and climb down the trapdoor.
go south and take the path to west when you can. Keep going to west. At the last row, talk to Hammerspike. Talk to him again. Kill his minions. Talk to the hammer spike again. Use the lodestone to Felador. We are heading to Barbarian Village. Go northeast, follow the path. Keep going to east until you reach Barbarian Village. Go to the building to your southeast and talk to Tassie. Click on the powder's wheel and make an unfired pot lid. Click on the pottery oven to fire the lid. Use the low stone to varrock. Go northwest to the potion guy. Talk to Apothecary. Option 1, talk about one small favor. Option 5, hey there, I have an airtight pot for you. Go northeast to the plate body shop. Talk to Horvik. Option 2, talk about one small favor. Option 3, I have the tincture and the breathing salts. Talk to him again. Option 2, talk about one small favor. Option 3, I have the 5 pigeon cages you asked for. Use the lowstone to Lumbridge. We are heading to the Set Crows farm next, which is north from the ham hideout. Go northeast across the bridge and keep going north. Go to the farmhouse by using the second gate to your west. Talk to Set. Go south and enter Ham Hideout. Click on the Ham Hideout to pick lock it and climb down. Go to the southern room. Talk to Johannes. Option 4, you're in luck. 
I managed to swing that chicken deal for you. You still lost on to Trainer Village? We are heading to Aggie next. Go southwest. Enter Aggie's building. Talk to Aggie, option 1. Talk about one small favor. Use the host on the port stream. We are heading to the axe shop. Go north and slightly east. Talk to Brian in the axe shop. Option 3. I've returned with good news. Use the lost on to Karamchap. We are heading back to Shiloh Village and this quest is almost done. Go north. Go northeast to the travel icon. Right click the card and select Payfair. Go east and exit Silo Village. After climbing over the card, go southwest and follow the path to west. Talk to the jungle forester, option 4, good news. I have your sharpened hatchet. Go back to Shiloh Village by climbing over the cart and going through the gates. Go northwest to the quest start location building. Talk to Yanni. Option 2. Here's the red mahogany you asked for. Congratulations. One small favor quest completed. Use the lamps however you want to. From now on you can add keys to your steel keyring which is automatically in your tool belt. It might be a good time to check your bank for keys and right click each key to see if you can add them to your tool belt. The animate rock scroll which you got from this quest is optional to keep. You need it in King's Ransom quest. But if you destroy it, you will get it back anyway during King's Ransom quest. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.